Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. There are many ways to customize your SharePoint experience. So I'm going to go through all of the customization details and show you how to make it your own. Let's check it out. So let's choose the site that we would like to go ahead and customize. So we're going to choose this How to Harbor site. And the first thing you want to do is go up to the top right hand side, look for the gear icon. And from here, there are a few options. So we're going to have a look first at the change the look. This will change the look and the feel of your site. So the first thing we're going to address, of course, is the theme. You can see here that once you've selected a specific theme, it changes immediately so that you can actually see an example of it. Once you've clicked on a specific theme, you can also click on customize. You can change the accent color. You can then also change the main color. So if you want to make it purple and orange, you can now tap on save and it will save those changes. Now let's go back from themes. You can also go into header and you can change the look and the feel of the header. So you can see there's a minimal, compact, standard, extended. And from here, you have a couple more options. So the background, you can change what the background actually looks like. You can change the actual color to an image. You can also change if the title is being displayed or not. So that's what it looks like. You can add a logo and a thumbnail logo. You can also change the alignment of your text. So that's what it would look like there. Now, Coming back out of here, there is one more option here. It is the navigation. So by default, it's on vertical, and this is what it looks like. If you tap on horizontal, everything will be up here at the top, and then you have the menu style. So either it is a mega menu, so everything is just as is. If you're going to cascading, then these items will pop out. All right, so you can just save those changes if that is what you actually want, and we can leave this. Now, the next place that we can go is the apply a site template. So let's go into here and you can use these pre-built templates that Microsoft has created. So there are a couple, there's about 10 over here for me. And once you click on it, it'll give you some information on the left hand side. It'll give you a preview and you can just click on use template and it'll take all of your information and use this template. Once you've chosen a template, that's great. We can now also go to site information. So once you go into site information, you can change your site name. You can also change the description. You can also change your privacy settings right over here. And you'll see the template history. You can view that. Now, right at the bottom, there is a view all site settings. All right. And that will give us further options. So on the top left, you'll see look and feel and we have quick launch. Now here are some quick launch options you can change around. You can also go into navigation elements and you can just change a couple of these options. And then the very last thing you can do here where it says change the look, this will change the look and the feel again of your site. So you can see here there are another few templates. Let's just go ahead and click on this one. And once you clicked on it, It'll give you a sample. And on the left hand side, it gives you a cover image. You can change that. It also gives you the option to change colors and it changes in real time so you can see what it looks like. You can also change the site layout and you can change the font style, which is fantastic. Once you're done, you can make sure that you're clicking on try it out and it'll show you what it looks like and you can save your changes straight from there. If you're looking to customize your SharePoint site, this is the place to be.